next on my uh, video processing series is the dynamic crop. And let me show you what I do. I've got my images open. I'm going to go back to that screen transfer function and make it so my images are nice and visible here. So I basically this is an automatic stretch. And next one. Again, these are my LRGB uh, images. Okay. And last but not least, the blue. Uh, you'll notice my blue and the green, they show the, you know, on the outside, they show the uh, biggest variation there along the edges. So I'm going to make it so all the, the images line up perfectly. Okay, so I go into process and I open up this under geometry there is a dynamic crop okay and then this appears I'm going to go to my you know, goofiest image and right now that's the blue the blue or the green and I'm just gonna draw a box around it and you, know, you can see this and you can actually adjust it if you need to be so I'm going to make it like that, so that looks pretty good, or you can make it, you know, bigger or smaller at will. But I think this is pretty good. It's, I, I've got a nice wide field now, and I may crop it even more at some point in the future. But what i got to do next um, is I'm going to, you, you would normally just take this triangle, and I would put it on this one, and it would make that... Uh, uh, to that side, to the size of the box. I'm going to have to turn you off though because for some reason it takes too much space with my image capture program. So I'm going to do it and then I'll come back and show you what I did. So I'm going to put you on pause right now. Hold on. I'm oh, sorry about that. I'm sorry it doesn't, uh, this doesn't work. Uh, where I can't show you exactly what I do. I hope that some of the other functions aren't like that. But anyways, this is what it did. It made all the images exactly the same. So I can actually stack these images, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to combine the RGB, and I'm going to, and I'm going to process the RGB image, and I'm going to separately process the luminosity, and then I'll combine those and make an LRGB image out of this. Anyway, so that's a dynamic crop. Okay, we'll see you later for the next installment.